He once said, I have a fondness for silence. Even his colleagues joked, there's a unit called Wonderack. It means one word, prayer. But in his silence was brilliance. Where others talked, he calculated. Where others guessed, he proved. Let's see the genius contributions of Paul Dirac. The Dirac equation, his most iconic contribution. It was the first equation to describe the behavior of relativistic electrons. It naturally predicted the existence of spin, a fundamental quantum property. It predicted antimatter, specifically the positron anti-electron, which wasn't discovered until 1932. With just maths, he brought antimatter into existence. Dirac's equation showed that for every particle, there must be a corresponding antiparticle. This wasn't just theory. Carl Anderson later confirmed the positron using cosmic rays. Dirac also gave quantum field theory foundations. Dirac was one of the early pioneers of quantum electrodynamics QED. He laid the mathematical groundwork for later developments by Feynman, Schwinger, and Tomonaga. Without Dirac's base, QED wouldn't exist the way it does. Next is the idea of the Dirac C. The Dirac equation had solutions that included negative energy states. These negative energy solutions posed a problem because electrons would be expected to constantly lose energy and fall into these lower energy states, which contradicts observations. To resolve this issue, Dirac proposed the idea of Dirac C. He hypothesized that all negative energy states are normally filled with electrons, creating a sea of negative energy particles. Paul Dirac also developed Dirac delta functions, a core concept in mathematical physics. In the world of science, voices are often loud, debates are fiery, and ideas clash like thunder. But Paul Dirac showed us another path. Conclusion is, Dirac didn't need to speak much, because his work will speak forever.